So tonight, the man in charge of Boeing is telling the world he's sorry. The aircraft maker CEO speaking exclusively to CBS News anchor Nora O'Donnell about the two deadly crashes that led to a worldwide grounding of the company's 737 MAX jets. I, I do personally apologize to the families. As, as uh, I've mentioned earlier, we, we feel terrible about these accidents. And uh, we, we apologize for what happened. We are, we are sorry for the loss of lives in both accidents. Uh, we're sorry for the impact to the families and loved ones that are, are behind. Uh, and that, that will never change. That will always be with us. I can tell you it affects me directly as a leader of this company. It's very difficult. How and so? it, it, well, it, it gets to the core of who we are. It feels personal, right? It's, of my 34 years at, uh, at Boeing, um, this has had the biggest impact on me of, of anything that's happened. And uh, you know, we, c we can't change what happened in these accidents, but we can be absolutely resolute in what we're going to do on safety going forward. So I, I am sorry mm -hmm. for that. We apologize to the families that have been affected. We apologize more broadly to the traveling public where you know, confidence has been affected. For we've, people who are scared we've, about We've flying. impacted yeah. our airline customers, right? We, we regret that as well. Um, and so we're, uh, we're stepping up, we're taking responsibility. We know we have improvements we can make. We will make those improvements. And uh, we're committed to safety for the long run. Well, Dennis, Dennis Mullenberg said he will have no hesitation about putting his family on a 737 MAX when they're allowed to fly again. That could happen later this summer. 346 people died in the two overseas crashes. Boeing admits it was a mistake in the software for a warning light that could have notified pilots and maintenance technicians that there was a problem. The CEO also said the jets will not be rebranded when they return to service, saying the 737 MAX name will not go away.